We're going to find the interval of convergence for this infinite series, meaning we're going to find all of the x values that you could plug into this series right here that would make this a convergent series. Now, in the last two videos, when finding an interval of convergence, we used the ratio test. However, notice here and here that we have an nth power on this entire term inside of the series. This might suggest that a root test would be a little bit easier. And with the root test, what we do is we take a limit of the nth root of that term inside of the series. Of course, in this example, that nth root in these nth powers will cancel. That was kind of the idea behind using the root test. And you'll notice that there are no n's in this expression. So when we take the limit as n goes to infinity, we just get x minus 8 over 8. Now with the root test, there is actually an absolute value on this. And the root test says that if this result is less than 1, then our series converges. Well, that just means that we have an inequality to solve. We have the absolute value of x minus 8 is less than 8 if we multiply both sides of this inequality by 8. Then we can make this a compound inequality. Add 8 to every piece of this inequality. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. 8 plus 8 is 16. And we have ourselves a basic interval of convergence. And this says that if we choose any x value between 0 and 16, plug that into this original series up here, we're going to have a convergent series. But with all these interval of convergence problems, we need to test the endpoints to see if we get a convergent series in this example when x equals 0 and when x equals 16. The reason we need to do this is because x equals 0 and x equals 16 would correspond to this inequality up here equaling 1. And when this thing equals 1, the root test is actually inconclusive, so we're going to do the test by hand. Okay, let's do it. Let's test x equals 0 first. If we plugged x equals 0 into this original series up here, we would get negative 8 to the n in the numerator, and we have 8 to the n in the denominator. That would simplify to negative 1 to the nth power. This is an alternating series. However, this term inside of the series does not go to 0 as n goes to infinity, so this thing diverges. Therefore, when x equals 0, our sum does not converge. Therefore, we are not going to add x equals 0 to our interval of convergence. Now, let's test x equals 16. Plugging x equals 16 into our sum just gives us 8 to the n in the numerator, which cancels with the denominator. And we just get the sum of 1 as n goes from 1 to infinity. Again, this term 1 does not approach 0 as n approaches infinity. So we're just adding an infinite number of 1s together. That is a divergent series. So we are not going to add x equals 16 to our interval. Our final interval of convergence goes from 0 to 16, not including the endpoints. And that's going to be our final answer for this problem. Okay, let's keep practicing in the next video. I'll see you there.